Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss a quick roadmap to become licensed pharmacist in Canada. So let's begin. So this is the roadmap we, which we are going to discuss today. But before I start this discussion, I want to clear two things. I am in Alberta and this map is according to Alberta College of Pharmacy. If you are in any other province, please leave your province name in comments and I will try to make a quick map for that province as soon as I get time. Second thing, this is a quick review. So we will go through superficially not in details if you want any more details then you can check in description I will put all the links there so for pharmacy licensing you need four things first is pharmacy gateway second is PEBC certification third is you must register as a intern at Alberta College of Pharmacy or any provincial college of pharmacy then you complete a structured practical training which is commonly called internship once you fulfill all these four things you will easily get pharmacy license now pharmacy gateway is a very simple process you go to the website log in there fulfill their requirement pay their fees and get a national id number which is valid for next 10 years once you get the national ID number from Pharmacy Gateway, you will go to the next step, which is PEBC certification. PEBC certification has four steps. PEBC document evaluation, PEBC evaluating exam, PEBC qualifying exam part one, which is commonly called MCQs, then PEBC qualifying exam part two, which is commonly called OSCE. So after Pharmacy Gateway, you will go for Document Evaluation where you will send all your, all your degree, transcript and other documents to the PEBC to get evaluated. Once you get the letter that your documents are successfully evaluated, you will have five years to pass evaluating exam. Then once you pass evaluating exam, you are in safe stage because there is no time limit now. Now, if you couldn't pass evaluating exam, then you have three, you can take three attempts. Let's say if you cannot make it or you cannot attempt within five years, then you have to evaluate your document again. You don't have to go back to here. You just have to go for document evaluation again. So let's see you pass evaluating exam, then further you will attempt qualifying exam part one, which is MCQs. Once you pass qualifying exam part one MCQs, again, the time period of three years will start. You have to clear OSCE within the three years, plus you have to register as an internee at Alberta College of Pharmacy. So these both things you have to do within three years. If you pass OSCE, these four steps will be over and you will automatically get the PEBC certification. Then for registration as an internee at Alberta College of Pharmacy, you will required to show your PEBC certification or at least your MCQs pass letter. Plus language proficiency, which is IELTS or TOEFL, and there are many other options mentioned on the website. Whichever you feel easy, go for it. But usually it valids for two years. So after two years, if you couldn't uh, complete your internship, you have to do it again. Then an SPT, which is a Structural Practical Training Declaration Form for Level 1, how you will get it? You have to pass Alberta College of Jurisprudence Learning Module. This is an online module. 
then you will get an SPT declaration form. What I understand is it is about the pharmacist agree to teach you how work, how did work in pharmacy. So it is all about that. The second, the third thing you need is work permit. If you are Canadian uh, resident or permanent resident here or Canadian res uh, citizenship or you have work permit. So you can apply for internship because it is count as work. That's why you need a work permit here. Next, you already have cleared ACP jurisprudence learning module. So you can easily go to the SPT level one. This is only a registration. You don't have to write any exam for this. Next step was internship. It has three levels, SPT level one, which is uh, at least 450 hours, then SPT level two, 450 hours, then SPT level three, 400 hours. To all together, it is 1000 hours. For SPT level two, you must pass ethics and jurisprudence exam. So before level one, you have to pass ACP jurisprudence learning module. Then for level two, you have to pass ethics and jurisprudence exam. And then for level three, this is a new rule which is applied uh, from April 2021. It says certificate to Canadian pharmacy practice program CCPP before doing your level three. Remember that this is a 10 month program and you, uh, you can do it in University of Alberta. So there are three modules for CCPP program. Two are online, but the third last part of this program is in a school. So you have to go to Alberta University, University of Alberta. So what are the complicated steps in the this roadmap? First thing, once you pass your MCQs, you have a clause of three years. So in three years, you have to complete everything like the internship and this OSCE. So basically after PEBC certification, you have three years to get your license. But once you registered as an intern in ACP, Alberta College of Pharmacy, you just have two years to complete all your things. And in this two years, you have to complete 1000 hours in internship. Second, you have to complete 10 months program, CCPP programs, which is now mandatory. So what they do, of course, this is the 10 months program and this 1000 hours, if you are doing full time internship, it will take at least six months. So 10 plus six is 16 months. So out, out of 24 months, 16 months is mandatory and in case you cannot do full-time internship then it will take so long so it will be hard for students to complete this step within two years so what they do they give us a chance to complete your ccpp program before you register as intern so for CCPP program before registering as an AC in as an internee in ACP, you will need a pharmacy gateway. Then you have to pass your evaluating exam. Then just attempt any language proficiency program like IELTS, TOEFL. Then go for P40. This is a pilot program to prepare for practice training. In this program, you have to choose any pharmacist of your choice and they will teach you uh, how they work in pharmacy. It is more similar to internship but internship is more lengthy. This is a 8 to 12 weeks program so you will take 4 months maybe to complete this and um, you can choose your pharmacy of your a pharmacist of your choice or you can just fill a form on NAPRA and they will do it for you. So this is not a very big step, but it is important step to complete your CCPP program. 
once you complete four things like the pharmacy gateway then evaluating exam then IELTS and P4T you can enroll for CCPP program then I will suggest you to do it before you register as an interne and before you go for qualifying exam why because after qualifying exam you have three years so although you are eligible to do CCPP program after MCQs but there is a clause of three years and since this stage is very safe so go for CCPP after evaluating exam once you done this then go for MCQs then OSCE and since you have a practical training in P40 so OSCE will be easy for you to pass and understand how to perform in an exam so then we complete all these steps this step is complete we go to the to register as intern in alberta college of pharmacy once we register here then we will we can start internship and if you cannot give full-time internship timing and uh, let's say you can do just eight hours in a day or four hours and it will take 12 months no problem you already did your major task already done these two are online exams so there is there will be no hurdles to complete them then you will go very smoothly within you will have enough time to get your license like you will take maximum one year to complete your internship and you have one year in your hand to get license otherwise it will be so tough for you to complete everything at once so what I suggest is once you complete your evaluating exam try to go to the CCPP program if you cannot then go for qualifying and then go for OSCE uh, get your PEVC certification done in case you register as intern at ACP and you couldn't complete your licensing within two years then you will back to the this stage after evaluating a stage so this is the hindrance you will know not get back behind it but if you couldn't complete within two years then you will be again you have to pass qualifying part one then qualifying part two and you will go through all these steps again and if you couldn't do within 10 years which is very very impossible then you have to register with pharmacy gateway again then try what they suggest is if you have very realistic schedule and you are very committed then go for the MCQs otherwise stay here and try to keep things smooth so that you can run very fast because after that there is all time period there is no rest so you have to do it everything very very quick that's the roadmap which I made for myself hope you enjoy this video and let me know if you want to know anything else bye for now